Yo guys, Rocky and Basho, we're here at Coral Radio Security today, our family shop, and it is our family shop. We, we own Coral Radio Security. It's one of our enterprises that we've never really publicly announced. But yeah, Rad Sanger, we've employed him as a um, technician. Technician. So that's senior manager. Senior manager, yeah. So Raj, he does take a lot of inspiration and guidance from us as well. So yeah, thank you Raj for trying to yeah. hold the fort for us and you know be the face of the business. And here today, we've got a classic BMW show. Everything around you here is a classic BMW. Nothing modern in sight. Well, they might be outside, but we'll walk around. We'll show you guys some epic cars here. I've got my 6 Series here today. The one I've just bought. Absolutely phenomenal car. It's getting a lot of attention here as well. And we've also got our E30. 325i Motorsport Manual. That makes me so happy hearing him talk about classic cars. <laughs> what, else can you, what else can you tell us about the E30 that we're giving away on the 31st, okay, right. bro? So it's in Sebring Grey. It's literally as it is at the factory, but the only difference is it has Alpina suspension. It's got that bubble leather and there's some... Oh, Tech 2 body kit, yo. <laughs> this guy, I'm gonna convert him into loving classics very, very soon. The we'll walk around, the flags are up, E30 is on display, 6 Series is there as well. And guess what? We've even got one of our first winners from Superstar Comps ever from 2020. He won the first motorsport I ever bought for the business. 3255, but it was an automatic, not a manual. Ours is a manual. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. <laughs> so, literally, we're in the hunt to find the sickest classic car here. I have no idea. So, I'm going to be going by looks. He's obviously going to be going by how rare they are, probably the value of them. I have no idea how much they're worth. Apparently, some of them are worth quite a lot. So, we're going to maybe highlight to you the sickest builds here. Honestly, what's the difference? between the one that we're giving away and this in terms of spec. In terms of spec, they're exactly the same. This is a factory manual as well. This was my car. So I bought this car. Uh, it had been painted. I put airlift on it with car radio security. I put the BBS wheels on it. Big up Extreme Wheels, G Gokken, Gokken G, whichever you want to say it. We'll put the link up there for his Instagram. He built these wheels for me. I wanted them BBS RS, I wanted them stepped up. It so they're 16 inch wheels. Yeah. They're 16 inch wheels stepped up to 17s. Gold hardware on them. So I put them on it. As soon as I bought the car into car radio security, Rad said to me, Rocky, do you want to sell this car? I was stuck for space. I love E30s, as you know. So I thought, do you know what, Raj? I will sell it, but I'll only sell it to you. So now Rod's had it for, what, six, seven, eight months? And uh, he's put it up for sale as well. He's probably running out of space, but... Did he I actually do, answer the question? Was, what I, do, was the difference? I, do, I do regret it, but compared to what car we've got right now, the only difference really is the colour. It is a factory manual, so is ours. This car's got airlift, which is an aftermarket extra. Ours has got Alpina suspension that's on the site right now. It's got the same bubble leather, so our one's obviously got the black external leather with the bubble uh, centre. This has got the grey. Um, and yeah, other than that, this is a very neat and tidy car. It's still power-wise factory. Um, and yeah, I'm probably going to nick his gear knob in a minute without him knowing, because that one's a little bit worn in that one. But other than that, yeah, it's, it's great. If you notice on this one, because this car's been painted, it was painted prior to me purchasing it. There were some extra mods onto the car, which people used to do back in the day with my first E30 and the same. You have a motorsport deadlock here, which you would have noticed on our one. Uh, it's original, so this one's been removed. And you have a secondary aerial, which on this car has been removed as well. Other than that, it's pretty much as they come. This has got Scorpion exhaust. I think the one we're giving away has got power flow stainless steel, but a very nice tone to it as well. Yeah, let's see if we can open the boot. There we go. The ride's done a really nice audio install in this one as well, which is a big difference. So whoever's going to buy this car, I think he's got it up for £35,000. Get involved, hit him up, because you're not going to get a Macau Blue E30 factory motorsport Tech 2 with a manual transmission, airlift performance, BBS RS wheels, genuine, they're not replicas. Probably look at a five, five and a half thousand pound with just the wheels, then airlift. And you've got an audio build in here as well. And the car is absolutely stunning. Get involved, hit up Rod Sanger, DM him. All right, so we're talking about sick cars. I'm led to believe that this is an M3, it's fucking sick. It's not an M3 buzz, this is a 3 to 5 i it's Wait, they all look the same. <laughs> this is much wider than M3. This, I believe, to be one of the first LTO E30s in the UK. This is uh, the lift to a fender kit, and it belongs to Palm, a car radio security. But just check this car out. All the over fenders, back to airlift. It's got the 24 wheels on it. But this car looks so insane. They've got the plate to match. Big LTO. What a car. So he's got the Recaro seats in there, the buckets, which is also, we'll open the door in a minute, but Palm might get upset, but he won't get upset with us. And Buzz gets uh, away with everything. So Buzz, open the door. There you go seats it's got half cage and look at that shifter it's huge it's got recaro seats half cage look at that shifter <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna fall in love with classics after today's no, week no i'm not honestly I, if i'm oh, i saw a sick old school porsche on the way here yeah. if it's gonna be it's either gonna be a porsche or it's gonna be an american muscle car yeah we will get american muscle car definitely will do we had a rap on this quite loud uh it's obviously promoting the tuning store which also belongs to rod sanger um one of his enterprises so for all the tuning little bits, exhaust, suspensions, and all that sort of stuff, yeah, hit them up, hit up the tuning store, the Insta tags right there. But check out the back, back end of this car. The back end of this car is epic. So no, Buzz, it's not an M3, I'm sorry. It's an LTO, bro, everyone knows that. 
<laughs> this is Mr. Smiles. He is the head founder of West London Classics, runs it with his son Jazz, and we are taking part in a massive show they're holding on the 31st of July. So get on eventbrite.com, book your tickets for spectators for £10, I think. £10, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be good, loads of food there, an awesome vibe. We say West London Classics, but there's going to be loads of modern cars there. Buzz is going to be there in his Lambo. Am I? Yeah. Of July, no, maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it'll be in his Lambo. My Lambo will be out there as well. But yeah, generally, it's going to be a classic car show. Absolutely. And he'll tell you exactly why he started this club now. Yeah, it all started a few years ago, well, I'd say about 10 years ago. And it's just grown and the passion for cars when you were young days and growing up in South West London and knowing the old school cars. And my father had Mark II Cortina. Okay. So from there, it just. It's steady to be like, no, my, like my son now, he's, he's, he's 33. Yeah, of course. And, and, and he's the same, he's, he's got the same passion. And you know what, just seeing it in the years and the old school mates and the community itself, it's, it's just it's, it's a wonderful feeling. It is an epic community, I must be honest. It really is. We're getting buzz converted very slowly into classics. So I must admit to you, Bali, this guy hates classics, right? Why not? Yeah. Why not? And he's now, we picked up our six series, he absolutely slaughtered me. We jumped in, went for some food, and he, he, was it, like, he? he went, he why, it, why it? are so many people commenting on it? No, so, no, no, I know 100%, he's paid people, and also they're all brown and local, <laughs> that's the only <laughs> thing it is. They're coming on the six, they're more than the Lambo, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So our E30 is here today as well. This E30 we're giving away live at the show. So I don't know when this episode is going to come out, but the show is on the 31st of July. Get on Eventbrite, book your tickets. If Make you want to sure get you guys are there. Yeah, get your show cars in as well. And if the winner of our E30 competition is there, me and Buzz are going to do a live handover, wow. sign the car over there wow. and then. And we'll get the head wow. poncho involved Amazing. as well. It's going to be awesome. Look forward to seeing you guys West there. the Classic Show and Shine, 31st of July. Make in sure you're there. Cheers. Respect. Am I meant to be that close? No. Check this car out. We like it because no, it's bright. Not that it's red. Not the best colour. I don't really know what anything about it, but it does look nice. Rox knows more about it, but he just keeps talking to everyone else, so it's really upsetting. Yeah, this car, original E24. It belongs to one of our friends. His surname's a mad one, like Constantinius or something like that. And he's a man of God. Yeah. No, no, it's because you can see there's a, like a little... <laughs> yes, yeah, so this car used to belong to Cos's dad, and obviously he's inherited it, so there's massive sentimental value to this car. But that aside, Buzz like, pointed out to me, he said, Rox, that car is mint. And it genuinely is. It is such a, such a clean car. But I'll show you cinematics, the wheels, the dishes, how clean they are. And uh, you literally... You eat food off it. Yeah. He painted the car, he told me, in 2008, I think. And the paintwork on the car is absolutely stunning. It is a real, real nice it, 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 It's totally No, it's not standard because it's got a few bits and bobs in there, right? Uh, but look at the engine bay. Look around the struts. Look how clean the rocker covers are, the manifold. Like, it is honestly it amazing. This new. And like Buzz, with these sort of cars, when they start rusting and holding water, it's generally around the windscreen area. So if you look how nice that is sitting, and even around the wipers, like, you know, this is the area. It's a good sign of telling where the cars we looked after. Or not. Exactly. Exactly. Just look under the bonnet. I'm becoming a bit of an expert, I am. Yeah. Rocks, what, what is this worth? I don't know. I mean, if I was in the market looking for an E24, maybe in and around about. If I look at what half decent E24 is selling for today, I would say, I'm going to have a guess, don't shoot me down, you experts out there, but I would say this is north of 40k, for sure. And even this particular example, I know will never be for sale. So you know you hear us guys always talk about E30s, E24s, E28s, and we think they're classics, right? Before even this E-range started with BMW, the spectacular cars started off with a number. Behind you right now, and Buzz spotted this as well, so it must be a sick car, is a BMW 2002. It's a turbo variant, it is absolutely stunning. And what's extra special about this car, the number plate reads 2002 BM. BM. I'm going to show you my favourite part of the show and there's a reason behind it as well. I've been saying for a long time that the next car proper blow in the UK at BMWs is the E36 M3 Evo. Look at Rod Sanger's one in black. I think it's Cosmos, could be wrong. Tan leather, Vader seats, this is the Evo E36. We've got an Asbo here somewhere. But these E36s, you can get them for four or five grand, seven, eight grand a little while ago. Now they're making blood. They're so hard to find the right ones. And it's been a long time since I've seen Vader seats. This car's got Vader's. It's on airlift. It's got genuine split rim AC slips of wheels on it. My favorite car of the show. It's only one E36 Evo here. Loads of classic BMWs here. Only one of these. It's not the most expensive car, but genuinely my favorite car here. Check it out. My favorite car of the show is none of them because they're classic and they suck. 